Hey, welcome back. So happy to see you. Yo, this channel is growing and it is really because of you guys. So if you're not already subscribed, please do. And as I go to the video, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And with that out of the way, let's go. So with the exception of vocals and guitar, most of the stuff that I record is MIDI. So is Reaper any good with MIDI devices? Generally speaking, I say yes. I know over the past couple years, we've seen more and more of the hardware manufacturers, you know, showing out of the box support for Reaper, but I'd rather show you than tell you. Let's go over how I'm using my Akai MPK Mini 3 with Reaper. So first things first, make sure you have your MIDI controller properly configured and set up in Reaper. Let's go into the preferences. Make sure you're on the MIDI input. Top of the list, you see I have the Akai MPK Mini Play Mach 3. In this case, I have the input and all. I have input and all. And then when I go to that MIDI output, it's super important. I, even though I haven't really seen a big difference, I still turned it on. I like to put mine in this low latency precision mode. I just feel like it'll work better. I enabled output to this device. I'm sending clock to this device, but I also have this no SPP slash continue turned on. With this no SPP function turned off, recording like note repeat, the notes would be off. So if you found that problem as you were trying to record something from your MIDI controller within Reaper, check and see if you have this, if you have the no SPP continue unchecked and check it and it should resolve the problem. All right, so now that we've confirmed the inputs and outputs on the MIDI side, let's record some stuff. All right, so I got my Kai controller plugged in. If I come here for the input, I like to keep mine. Again, I have it set up to all because I have multiple MIDI controllers. All of them are coming in and just being able to detect them all at the same time. All right, so now I want to trigger note repeat. And instead of using the key bit, I'm going to use the pad up here at the top. Same hi hat. And I'm going to turn on note repeat. When I hit it now, it doesn't play because I have note repeat engaged. It's only going to play once I hit play. See? And I have my note repeat set at time division of 16th note, so I can change it 1 8th, 1 16th, 1 16th triplet, 1 32nd. So let's just play and I'll toggle through these. One eighth. One sixteenth. Now when I go to hit record, so this is why we changed that no SPP slash continue and clicked it on because what I had found in the past was that without that checked, when I went to record the note repeat, the notes would be off. With that box checked, it comes in on time. So I have metronome on. In this case, let's hit R. I have a shortcut key, start recording. I'm holding down the pad and So as you can see, it recorded my hi-hats at the 1 16th time division, just as I had it set on my keyboard. It sounds in time, it's not off. And now I'll do it again with no metronome. Hit repeat on, record. All right, now let's record some claps. And then in terms of just regular recording, that's fine. Let's add in some chords. Now 
Now let's change some of those parameters using the CCs that I'm sending from the controller. To opening Serum, I can quickly right click, hit MIDI Learn. Now I've assigned the knob to my master fader, to this one here. This one to 71. Now do this one, last one, to the pan knob. All right, now let's play it back and let's just control it with the knobs. So I know there's much more we could have dived into with respect to just MIDI in general, more specifically how the DAW control works within Reaper Session. And I'll probably save that for another video since I primarily use a different controller for controlling the DAW itself. So if you're a heavy VST guy like me and you want that more hands-on feel as opposed to clicking the mouse, just know that your MIDI controllers do connect and play very well with Reaper. So if you've enjoyed today's content or found anything in this video helpful at all, I'd appreciate it if you went ahead and hit that like button. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and until next time, peace.